What's going on, Stella Nation? How y'all doing it? How y'all doing it? We back, man. It's been a long week. Uh, I think it's been about seven, eight days, but we here, man. We're going to talk about everything that happened since my last video. So since post Steven Nelson, uh, y'all probably won't be getting videos week to week no more because I told myself that it's April and we going on a marathon. We starting today and we just going to drop videos like crazy left to right back to back <laughs> we're just gonna go crazy with the vids we we dropping like crazy man so make sure if y'all subscribe y'all turn on y'all notifications and yeah because we about to go crazy um first we're gonna start off with the signings and i'm telling right now because i don't i don't feel good and then i see something going on with my throat and all that but uh i'm still here though i got a job to do but uh First, we're going to start off with the signings. And if y'all see me looking down on my phone, it's because some of these names I don't know or just don't care about or they're not big enough. Um, we re-signed Cassius Marsh, which I don't really care about. We re-signed Robert Spillane, which, which is a good re-signing because we need some depth at linebacker. Um, Robert Spillane stepped up this year when Devin Bush went down and he showed that he could at least hang in there with the Bulls. He had a pick six against the Ravens. He had a big hit on Derrick Henry. He made some plays. He's not that good in coverage, but I feel like he could learn. You know, this is really his first taste on the field. Um, as for that, we got Tyson Alu Alu back now. If you keep up with this stuff originally, you know that Tyson Alu Alu signed with Jacksonville. Now, the reason why he had a change of heart and he was allowed to do this is because he didn't make the Jacksonville meeting. Now, he didn't make the meeting because he got COVID. So, therefore, he was, you know... Uh, I guess he stayed put in the place he was at. And I guess that's Pittsburgh because they said he has a dream house there. They said his kids go to school there. And yeah, so I guess we called him or maybe he called us. And he was just like, look, I don't want to go to Jacksonville no more. Dumb boys are scrubs. <laughs> they rebuilding. We still trying to get somewhere. Um, and yeah, so Tyson Alawala resigned on a two-year deal. And even though it's not it's not uh Bud Dupree or Mike Hilton, um, I'm still like, you know that that made me feel more secure because we would have lost a lot. So at least we get Alu Alu back. Um, let's see, Alu Alu, shout out to him coming back, looking good. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the signing because those were all the main re-signings. Now we're gonna move on to the signings. The first signing we had was. A lineman from the Chicago Bears was Rashad Coward. Um, apparently, his signing got leaked on Call of Duty. He was on Call of Duty, and I guess his wife was recording or something, and he was saying that he wanted to go to Pittsburgh or visit Pittsburgh or something like that. I haven't seen the video, so I'm just going off of what social media is saying. So, yeah, apparently, he was signed because he was playing Call of Duty. So, I guess he broke it before everybody else could. So, so we got him. I don't think he's... Any good, maybe just insurance for the line. Next, Steelers signed Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive lineman Joe Haig. Um, Joe Haig, I seen him in the Super Bowl. I, was he the one who dropped the touchdown in the Super Bowl? He might have been the one to drop the touchdown in the Super Bowl. Uh, I think that was him. But apparently he's a decent lineman, you know. So that's exactly what we need is a decent lineman. Um, so hopefully he can come and, you know, hopefully – do something because our offensive line is absolutely fucking has fallen apart. Like it's bad right now. And we re-signed Jordan Berry for our next item. We re-signed Jordan Berry, which he played pretty he played pretty well after we cut him for Dustin Colquitt, who played terrible. And then we brought Jordan Berry back and he played pretty well. And guys, this video is gonna have a lot of cuts because I'm just coughing and all that. Like I told you guys I don't feel good. I don't think it's I don't think it's the, the 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 yeah. I don't think it's the 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 CV nineteen. I don't think it's that. But whatever it is, I do not feel good. But I gotta bring these videos out for y'all, man. With the next signing, Kalen Ballage, a running back. Uh, I heard he's pretty damn, or he can be pretty damn good. He had eight touchdowns when he played for ASU, and he tied it for the most in college football history. Eight touchdowns. Are you serious? Last year, he played for the Dolphins, I believe, in the Chargers. And as soon as you look up Kalen Ballage highlights, you see a 75-yard run while he's on the Dolphins on the Minnesota Vikings. 
So I was like, oh, okay, it's impressive. Now, I don't think he'll be, like, in our rotation. He might be a practice squad guy for insurance. He'll probably be battling Jalen Samuels. And I'm going to tell you like this. When we get to the draft, if there's a way that anybody wants Jalen Samuels for at least a fifth or a sixth-round pick, Pittsburgh better do it because we don't even use Jalen Samuels. And when he's in the game, he don't do nothing. So I just think Jalen Samuels does not fit our scheme anymore, you know? I don't know, but we got Kalen Ballage. What I seen from him, looking pretty good. Look like he can be pretty good. I don't know if we'll use him like that. Moving on to the next signing, we got Michigan's former Eastern Michigan's wide receiver Matthew Sexton, who ran a 4-3. Now, he wasn't drafted last year, but he was allowed to go to the Pro Days this year. And he ran a 4-3, but everybody's running a 4-3 this year. Um, he ran a 4-3, so we're picking him up. Because he's a free agent because he didn't get drafted last year because I don't think he wanted to go because of the virus. Um, so he showed up this year and they let him come. So that's pretty good. So we got him. I think he's going to be used for insurance too. Maybe a practice squad guy. Um, so just in case anything happens. But you know how the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are with receivers. We know how to develop some damn receivers. We do our job at that most definitely. With the next signing, we signed linebacker Jarvis Miller. I have no idea who this guy is, um, and that's all I'm going to say. Probably used for insurance, even though we need depth, but I feel like we're going to draft a linebacker. Um, what do we have, eight picks this year? We can do a lot with eight picks. I feel like we're going to draft a linebacker or two. Apparently today, Sean Davis signed with the Indianapolis Colts. Um, so we're getting thinner at safety and cornerback. Cornerback, we're going to address in the draft. I feel like we could have picked up a, a little light cornerback in, like, free agency. We have the cap, but I think still they're just playing the safe. Now we're thinning at safety. We only have Terrell Evans, but um, there has been rumors that Carl Joseph, um, pretty good player. I think he played for the Browns last year. It would be nice to take him. Pretty good player. Not afraid, not afraid to hit you. He's going to get down and dirty with you. Um, he's a pretty good player. He's almost better. I want to say he's better than Terrell Edmonds, but they're probably going to start Terrell Edmonds because he's been here longer. If we do get Carl Joseph, they had a meeting yesterday. I'm hoping it went well because now that we just lost Sean Davis to the Colts, we might need to bring in another safety so we don't have to worry about that in the drive. Hopefully, we can get Carl Joseph. Moving on to some more news. The NFL expanded its season to 17 games. So now we're going to have 18 weeks. Uh, there's only going to be three preseason games. And with our 17 game, we played the Seattle Seahawks at home. I can't give y'all if we're going to win or lose because we haven't been through the draft or any of that yet. Um, so, yeah, we don't know. Injuries could happen during the season all that. Certain teams could be in certain positions where, yeah, you never know. Um, so that's that. I'm, just, I'm not going to go over the pro day stuff because, you know, why wouldn't Mike Tomlin and all our other coaching staff be at pro days? I'm not going to go over everybody pro day who they went to. But I will tell you this week, either tomorrow or the day after, hopefully I'm feeling more better because I had to do a lot of cuts in this video because I'm just coughing and all that. But hopefully I'm feeling more better. Um, I'm giving y'all a draft preview. The, the draft is at the end of the month. I believe it's April 29th. We got to get these draft previews out the way. Tomorrow or the day after, we're going to do offense. And then we're going to do defense. And yeah. I'm going to just throw everything at y'all, man. Like videos, when I tell you videos are about to start flying, they're going to be flying. So you guys better turn on y'all notifications and all that because we about to get right. You know, like no doubt. We about to go crazy on the two. It's like we about to get busy with this Steeler Nation stuff. Whoa, and as I'm just saying here, some big news just broke by Adam Schefter. It says the Steelers have acquired Deshaun Watson in a three-team deal, including San Francisco. The Steelers have traded the Houston Texans their first and second pick from this year, three future first round picks and a future second round pick. Um, as for the Texans, they get Jimmy Garoppolo from the 49ers and the Texans get one of our first round picks that we traded and one of theirs. So we just got Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Possible. Anything possible. Now I'm just playing those April Fools. Uh, 
I probably got that ass. But yeah, man, uh, I'm not feeling good, bro. As you can see, the energy is just not there. But I had to put this video out for y'all. We got to keep going. Rather, the energy not there or not. I'm, I got to tell y'all what's going on, man. Some of y'all relying on me to tell y'all what's going on. In the, uh, and again, we're our division and all that. So, you know, that's everything that's going on. All our signings, all our... Um, all our re-signings, what the NFL is doing with the league, the, our extra game added, the coaches at the pro days, which I didn't go over because we're going to go over all that when I drop the draft previews. And yeah, man, y'all pray for me. And hopefully I don't got the CV-19 and hopefully I can feel better in the next two, three days to keep pushing out this content for y'all, man. But I told y'all, it's the marathon. Whether I'm feeling good or not, I'm going to give you all these drive previews. We're going to be posting crazy. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I'm going to catch you all later, man.